Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If it's your first time here, my name is Kira. Welcome. Today I am joined by my sister Sajal. And Sajal and I have been feeling for ramen like since the day we were born. Yes. <laughs> For like a long time like we've been watching like kinds of videos and things like that our korean market that's like up the road from us basically which we did our spicy noodle challenge with which if you haven't watched that go and watch it we did it about like two years ago i think we did at the end of 2020 yeah end of 2020 it was so so funny and fun to film but we got a whole lot of stuff we said okay well we haven't been to that korean market since like God knows when we changed and from there. It has expanded so much. I got a little bit of B roll like here and there, which I'm just gonna, I guess, insert here now. so much expanded it. so much anyway, it expanded quite a lot and there's like everything that you can think of there and that is why we have a whole box of like asian snacks and food that we wanted to do a haul for you guys and we may show like a few things here and there of our play test for things that we haven't tasted yet but i just thought that it would be really fun to do a video showing you everything that we got if this is your first time here, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoy the content that I create. So only me and my mom went, so I just said no. So most of these things are actually going to be side of first reactions. When I brought in the box, she literally almost toppled over and Because we went it. there just, they went there just for ramen. Two packs of ramen. And yeah. it's a whole But like, box. I really want to experiment a lot like with Asian flavors and things like that. This, oh my God. This is the first item that we got. Now most of you must be thinking that this is a vegetable, but this is actually star fruit, which if you're not familiar with star oh, fruit, I know. I didn't so, know, bro. Yeah, so it's super cool. I didn't even know that it comes like this. A lot of people say it's like a mix between a pear and a kiwi, but we'll obviously be the judge of that when we actually try it. But it was super cool to find it. It's very, very common in Asian supermarkets and in Asian cooking. Then <laughs> the next thing that we got is just like some fresh, I think my mom did. Oh, oh yeah. Fresh danya or coriander or what do you think of cilantro? Yeah, that, that's pretty self explanatory for an Indian household. And then the other thing is, which I think is like super common in every single type of Korean cooking, <laughs> is a whole ass container of gochujang. Oh, yes, and it's a vegan one, and the store owner said it's extremely popular with people. So if you don't know what gochujang is, I can explain it. It's like a, it's it's a chili paste kind of a thing that that contains like garlic and like uh, ginger, just like a, it's a flavor accentuator. So yes, it's very, very common to have gochujang as first a topic as well as an ingredient in Korean cooking. Yeah, so we're really excited to use that. You can make a KFC Korean fried chicken as well. This is my favorite ramen. It's this vegan ramen, which is fully... Okay, <laughs> I think you guys can see that. But it's like this green packet and it's called Soon Veggie Ramen Noodle Soup. This, in my opinion, is like one of the best ramen that you can get if you're not too, you know, into like the two times spicy or the hot chicken like flavor because it is like spicy, but I feel that everything else that adds flavor kind of helps you balance everything out. So I absolutely love it. This is my favorite ramen. And I ended up getting the gluten-free rice noodles, which is actually the store owner said is used in like pho quite a lot in like homemade Wait, pho. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I will be making this and then putting like obviously my ramen like flavoring and vegetables and things like that. Kind of 
with this. And then we got a few other types of ramen because my mom also wanted to have some with us. So this is the only one that I got for myself because I got something else for myself. But we got pulled up buttermilk curry flavor noodles. Yeah. So we love this brand of um of the ramen. So this is like a curry flavor and it's like an orange flavor, orange color of the packet and it's hot chicken flavor ramen as well. And it's not as spicy as regular. It kind of tastes like if you were to put masala or chili powder yeah, in. It's, a very, it's like an actual curry flavor mixed with like Korean flavors. But I think it is important also to say that most of these use artificial flavoring. So obviously just research before you see it. So that's why I have tried these because they're vegetarian. And then the other one is hot chicken flavor, Samyang rolled up light chicken flavored ramen. And this is like non-fried, it's less spicy, and it's also less calories, which my mom was um, looking for. And so it just kind of took that. And then these this are is for me. Obviously for Tidal. So I cannot stand like I okay. I, I can't stand it either, but I, this is not I I do not cheese. a very big cheese fan. Like I like cheese if it's like in a flavor of like a chips or flash crisps. <laughs> That's the thing. But I don't like it in like ramen flavor. But Saigo loves this one. It's not the cheese flavor. It's carbonara. Yeah. So it it's has like a slightly. It's a slight cheese flavor. I just it's add cheese. extra like milk and cheese. Yeah. The regular so, cheese flavor is yellow. So this is the pink one, which a lot of people also say is like really good if you're not wanting to do the next one. Um, because it's obviously less spicy because it has like the cheese flavor and things like that. It still is spicy because I did try it once and I wasn't a huge fan because of the cheesiness. But it's less spicy than this, which is the original like hot chicken ramen flavor. So this is what most people originally did the hot noodle challenge with, but obviously now there's a two times spicy, three times spicy, four times spicy. I actually to like spicy. this. That's why um, I bought it as an actual Yeah, we actually noodle. really do like Like if you watch our hot noodles challenge, I won't give too much away, but we actually ended up enjoying like the actual flavor of the noodles. Mm -hmm. So, Sajil sometimes eats this like on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Not a daily basis, but like not on a challenge. daily basis. When my mom buys lunch, <laughs> I eat it in a week. And then I see other two things we got are these. Oh, I thought you got Cheetos, but that's not good. I, there wasn't Cheetos there. And so I got these ones to try because I still wanted to try Korean, you know, snacks. Snacks. So this is actually popcorn. I obviously couldn't read a lot of what was being said, but yeah, I also was surprised. It's by Samyang, which is the same company that makes the ramen. And it is vegan and it's a halal as well. So I'm honestly up for a surprise with this because I've never had it and I don't know what flavor it is. And I've then, seen them really? before, yes. I, I, I've never seen these before. So this is like, I think it's like rice crackers. It's like, yeah, like a rice yeah, cake. Yeah, it's like rice cake. But obviously it's like healthy, well healthy is in like the normal fried stuff and it's edamame um, flavor. So both of these I haven't tried so that'll be really interesting. And then why I only got one ramen is because I got this. I don't know, you can Look try it with me. miso soup, tofu, yeah. wakame and sibe. Yeah, so I'm really excited. It's like, I think like four coming here. Um, oh, two packets. There's two servings. Oh wait, there's make eight. So there's two packets in here that make a serving, which is quite nice because this is gluten-free and it's from Japan actually. And it's by the brand called Marukome. And so this is how it looks. So I'm really excited to have that. And then the other thing I found is I'm gonna need like veggie broth. As I said, I really want to do like experimenting. I think you guys can see that. Yeah, there we go. I wanna do like a lot of experimenting and things like that with Asian cooking. That's not Indian, obviously. And so this is like vegetable stock. But what I thought was really cool is that it's actually tea bag. So you're not getting like, you know, like you don't have to like get all the nitty gritty like powdery pieces that sometimes come like, you don't, don't get okay, It doesn't go off obviously as quick. So vegetable yes. stock, once you open it, I think yeah. it goes off in like three days. And then the other thing that we got is like panko bread crumbs. Because my mom's been wanting to like fry stuff in our new air fryer. So she just got panko bread crumbs, oh, but it's Japanese style this. panko crumbs. Now onto like the sweeter or like freezer stuff, which we actually should have done first, but no, 
to lay down. <laughs> um, so we got um, this. No ball. way. Yeah. No way. I know. I'm so excited. To I have this. been feeling for this since last year, April. I'm just going to let you know that. So, in case you're wondering what Sido got so excited out of us, it is vegetable gyoza. So, obviously, I was looking for Korean dumplings or mandus, but they were not really having a lot of vegetable options. So, I obviously got these ones. There were so many flavors. Obviously, we got the vegetables yeah. because it's easier for me to also try and things like that. But they had chicken, prawn, they seafood, the kimchi. They that are made by Samyang with this flavoring in the prawn one. Yeah, I saw I that. I wanted to get but that, I think they have, have pork in it. Yeah. Because pork and prawn are not yeah, so I couldn't obviously eat those, so then I didn't get that. And then, oh, this is melted, so we should probably get it into the freezer <laughs> like right now. Um, it's these two ice creams, okay, which I don't know if you can see, I'm gonna like put it there. So it is called Melona, and we got coconut because we love coconut flavor. But what I was really, really excited oh my for God. is if you guys have heard of Ube, then you know. Okay, you know all those Instagram pictures. Okay, wait, before I go on, so I can put this in the freezer. In the freezer. So, Ooh, um, the hell? whilst I go busy with freezer. that, putting that in the freezer, basically, all those Instagram pictures that you see of people with like purple ice cream, sometimes, yes, it may be lavender, but for the most part, it is ube, which is basically purple yam. If you've been to any bubble tea store or whatever, it's like taro but has a bit of more of a sweeter taste from what I've heard of people. I have been wanting to try ube for like the longest time because people have it like on toast. It's very popular in the Philippines. Gosh guys, I've been wanting this for so long. So when I found this, over, she did the hype. Yeah, like out of everything, I think that one of the things I'm most excited for is to try ube because I literally took it to my mom a few weeks back. And I was watching like it like an ice cream video and they had ube and then i just you know i just kind of went on that role where you like kind of research everything to do with this sort of thing and all the food videos so i've been doing with that with ramen and that's why she fell for ramen but i've been doing that with ube and i'm like okay well i'll just okay so i have to wait until i go to like philippines but little did i know my korean market right by me which is named kokoro if you don't know the korean market named kokoro it had it so i'm very excited to try that and then the other thing which I got is the so tasted chicken. So basically, if you know any Korean and Japanese actually like sweet desserts, they always have white or red bean as their filling. Red bean paste. Paste, yeah. And so we got this one, which I actually saw on like a Korean mukbang one of the other days and the person didn't like it but like i'm very experimental with my my flavors so i don't like so she can be if she's into it if she's not then she's not i'm just scared so this one is like a basically like a bagel yeah with like red bean um like paste in the middle so i think you guys can maybe see it there yeah. so we're really excited to try that and then going along with that is a puppy it is so good. It's kind of, I don't know, to be honest. Oh, it's called a moon cake. So that's what it's called. It's a moon cake and it has strawberry cream. But I just love how I they thought you were going to say thing. jam. I was going to say like, no, no I know you have like that. jam. But like the way that they package things are just so cute and dainty. And yeah, so I'm very excited to try that. And then the other thing that we got is this one. Yeah, I've never seen this, but like custard is also a really, really common filling to have like in Japan and South Korea and probably any other Southeast Asian country. Cream puff bread. That's what it's called. What? Cream puff bread. Okay. Korean or cream. cream okay. Bread. Cream puff bread with like a custard filling. And so that is what it looks like. It kind of gives me like the vibes of a brioche bun. But we'll see when we end up tasting. I honestly thought the most bread was Japanese pancake, but that came out good. And then, I mean, what kind of Korean call would this be without kimchi? <laughs> so we're finally getting kimchi. Sizen and I have been loving kimchi. I tried making it. It's 
not the same. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. They, they make it very different than like what we thought they would make it. And you have like integrated things. But I feel like this is a perfect thing. Like if you're having a rice dish or a noodle dish or a pasta dish. But it's like a topping again. It's kind of like gochu chan where it's like used both as an ingredient as well as a topping. So kimchi is like a very common thing. It's a very Korea good brand. Yoga. Is it? Okay, well, I was like contemplating that, like I'm not sure. Then the other two things I was going to do is kimchi. I thought about it. So I, I have two things. Two sides of the story. So I think I would really like this because it's the ice cream version. So you could you don't even tell them what it is. <laughs> oh, it's mochi. It's mochi ice cream mochi. So you take obviously mochi. we wanted to eat into it since we've never had it. Like there you go. Oh my lord, there you go. So how you make this is you basically take like a, like a really like hard frozen block of your ice cream, and then you make your mm -hmm. mochi um, recipe, and you put the ice cream in the middle and you wrap it up. And you put it back in the fridge, freezer, freezer, whatever, same thing. And then you just bite into it. I wouldn't have regular mochi because I think that that part would hurt my teeth would be a bit too gummy. But I'm excited to try this. Okay. Yeah. So it's ice cream mochi. We Mango got and strawberry. yes, we got two flavors to try. And then the other thing that we got, it's these um Korean like gum sweets. I mean, they said that it was like gum. Baba, baba. Yeah. If they said it was gum, but then my mom had on and said, thought initially that it was like sweet, but I don't know what she thought afterwards. She's gone out now. But this is, oh my god, like I said, there you go. There you go, like this. I don't know if you guys can see that. But anyway, it's the apple flavor and the grape flavor. So my mom obviously already tried that. But you can smell the apple on the outside. It smells like no, actual it's so apple. Nice. And then we got some drinks. So the first thing that we got is this. Whoa. It's like a coffee drink. And then we got two condiments. <laughs> so we got vegetarian stir fry sauce. Because my mom loves making stir fry. And this is by the brand Lee Kum Tea. And then we also got another thing from Lee Kum Tea, which is chili oil, which again is a very common ingredient to have both as a topping and as oh, a ingredient one. in every single kind of Asian cooking. And then the last thing that we got, since I obviously don't like coffee, is actually the <gasps> salt. No way! I know, I said yeah. to try. It's the salt sparkling. Salt sparkling. Salt sparkling Korean style. Oh my god! Soul sparkling Korean style prebiotic drink from fermented radish, which sounds strange, but it's probably just like kombucha. And this is pear, pear, pear flavor. Seoul is a place in Korea. It's the capital, capital of Korea. Of Korea. Oh my god, there you go. So that's what it looks like. Sajwa and I are going to do maybe another video after this, trying certain things from this list for the first time. So try like the, the drinks now. But that's going to be it for this video. It's going to probably be a two part, like, two part series, I guess, for this thing because I'm looking at how much I've recorded already. And it is quite a lot to, to put into one video if you have to put in the part that you're trying already. So we're going to make this a Korean food haul video. And then in the second video, we will be trying like the actual food stuff. But we'll still give you guys some of our like, you know, raw reaction with what we are drinking. So Sajid can taste the coffee thing first. It smells like... Oh my god. Is it good? It smells good. Sajid so loves coffee and I'm the complete opposite. Like I, I can can't have like... It. I love espresso. Espresso is my favorite thing. I'm probably more hyperactive than normal child and having this drink is just one of those things that I love doing today. <laughs>
Obviously, just before we sign off. It is espresso! <laughs> Obviously, before we sign off and I taste my drink, if you do want to see our reaction to trying all of these foods that we haven't tried before, then definitely do subscribe and share this video. Let any other Korean food lovers, any K drama fans, also know that we are going to be trying all these things. And yeah, I hope that you guys have a wonderful week ahead. But before you go, oh. let, me, let me try my <laughs> drink quickly. So I'm really, it's good for your gut health and to support your immune health. I mean, wait, let me taste it first. I mean, <laughs> smell it now. So, the smells are quite strange, but not in a bad way necessarily. Like, it's like, it makes, reminds me kind of like wine and vinegar like together. This is a very strange drink. Like, it is not sweet and it's not savory. It's like right down the middle. You can definitely taste the pear and um, you were about to say the it's like, actually has like a bit of a coconut to aftertaste. It has prebiotics. It's vegan. It's gluten free and it's caffeine free. So, mm, cheers, bro. Cheers, bro. You want to try it? No. Anyway, <laughs> so I would give this maybe like a three and a half to four out of five because it's definitely like I like nothing I've ever tasted because it's a very like like some parts were savory, some parts were sweet, and obviously that comes from the pear and the radish, which are on opposite ends of the spectrum. But I'm really excited to try out all these things again. Stay tuned for our part two where we are going to be trying these things and I hope that you guys have a lovely week ahead full of lots of love, positivity, light and happiness and amazing food just like we are going to be having. I'm eating it right now. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.